Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. So, the Citizen Con is over, and this isn't really a type of video that I do, but you know, there's a lot of creators out there kind of giving their opinions, they're going through deep dives and things like that. And if you guys are interested in me doing some like panels and actually watching some panels and kind of giving opinions as I do them, kind of like a reacts to it let me know in the comments. I mean, I don't mind doing that. It's not something normally I do in my channel, but if you guys are interested, I wouldn't mind throwing a couple out there, a couple of my favorites, something that I maybe have an opinion on. But in this video, I'm going to cover some high level stuff, right? Um, since my channel is like really guides and helping players and really not giving too many opinions on the development. And the reason I don't is because I don't know I'm not able to follow it as closely as a lot of these other people. I don't like giving wrong information, right? So that's kind of why I don't do it. I work a full-time job, so I only have kind of the evenings and a, and a little bit on the weekends. And I just like to stream and hang out with you guys and play the game. And I keep up with it as much as I can. Let me put it like that. So let's talk about kind of what I saw during Citizen Con. Let's talk about the crowd for a second, right? Now, the crowd just did not seem to have the excitement that I remember at past citizen cons like some of the clapping kind of seemed forced maybe I'm over analyzing this but it just it just that excitement wasn't there now on day two it was better especially on the end game stuff right I mean people were so excited and the reason why is because man that 1.0 that that shift to knowing where we are heading is super important for the community. I don't think a lot of people realize how important that is that they've put this together. They put this roadmap and they gave us this line to follow, right? So we can actually see now how, how close we are to actually getting a full, you know, 1.0 release here. We can actually gauge it by where we are at in the process and, and, and how close we're getting to it, you know, to an extent pretty much, right? But do I think we're going to get 1.0 anytime soon? Absolutely not. I think a, a normal person or anybody who has followed this project for any length of time um, knows that we're probably a good five to 10 years out. Now, five is my hopeful point, right? I think five at the minimum, just looking at what all is left, how long it takes for this development. Now, do I hope that after Squadron comes out, it like really speeds things up? Um, Yeah, absolutely. But being that they're in the polishing phase and they have a year left we still have quite a bit of content to shove into the game to be anywhere near close to 1.0 not just content but um stability right getting that stability in there now we're super close to 4.0 and 4.0 i think is doing pretty good now i saw some of the you know the the evo live gameplay that they they allowed and, and it looked pretty good Am I concerned with them adding missions and entities with like triple the amount of players or quadruple the amount of players? Yeah, I am. I mean, just the other night we were playing and, you know, we had 10 bodies out, but every time we would drag that 11th body, it would, you know, despawn. And I'm really worried about that happening with a lot of players. So I'm really curious to how that's going to play out. That's probably my biggest concern when it comes to like 4.0 and Pyro. Now, Pyro coming out you know, 4.0 and Pyro coming out at the end of the year. I don't see it, guys. I really don't. I think it's probably going to be closer to like January, February. Now, we might be in like wave one or wave two um, by the end of the year. But honestly, I hope they take their time. I really do. If it takes them an extra month, January, February of 2025 to get Pyro out, I I'm okay with that personally. And the reason I say that is, is I don't want Pyro to come out in December or say I'm saying pyro but 4.0 pyro server meshing the 4.0 patch in December and a set in loading screens and queues and 30k crashes and things like that I, I would rather have a decent experience in 4.0 I really would like to cruise around pyro and check out what all it has to offer and that's really why I say that I know that's probably a definitely a negative opinion people want that patch really bad and it, it, it's well deserved because it's a very important patch so real quick, I'm trying to make this I'm trying to make this a little quicker, guys. I just wanted to kind of get some stuff out there. So base building, let's talk base building. Base building for me is super important and not just because we're going to get this like cool little habitat and things like that. We're going to become a citizen, get a habitat. I think it's because of the crafting and what we're getting with the base building. The ability to 
craft things, to craft weapons, to craft small ships, to craft vehicles, to craft tools. And I hope there's a lot more of that to come, right? Because like when you're out mining and, you know, you're passing up that iron, you're passing up that titanium and quartz and things like that. And now that's going to just open up this entire universe for that those items to be worth something, to be worth something different. Um, the economy, the star sim, oh my god, that's going to be such so so needed in this game, right? Um, like the cargo missions, for them to be able to do cargo missions and have that affect the economy for what we're mining to affect the con economy. Like if people are out just doing qu uh, quantanium and gold, it's going to drive those prices down because there's going to be so much of it. So all these other items are going to start balancing out and become worth more because they're not getting mined or traded as much, right? Same thing goes for the, the, you know, salvaging with components and construction materials, RMC, all of that kind of stuff is going to start getting balanced out when they start releasing that stuff. I, I think they, they've got a good plan with that. I, I think it should work really well. Um, so really excited to uh, see that. But that's that's the part that gets me excited about base building because they're going to start adding all that kind of stuff in after that. Um, and that's my hope anyways, right? Again, hopium, right? So... In-game for Star Citizen. I'm going to go ahead and kind of jump into this in-game stuff. Um, again, like I said, I still think we're pretty far away from 4.0. I think everybody knows that. I don't think it's a surprise. Um, Squadron 42. Do I think Squadron 42 is going to make a 2026 release? I'm not sure. I think they've got a lot of work to do on it. I think they've got a lot of polishing to do on it. I think it was probably going to be on console which would be great, right? A console release for Squadron 42 would be great, bringing a totally different type of community in, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, um, even bringing VR to that, VR on console, VR on PC, bringing all that kind of stuff that uh, Chris mentioned to the game is going to bring in totally different communities for this, um, the VR community alone, right? But again, how long, how far away is this we're talking, right? I mean, we're talking years. Um, we don't even really have an idea about a third star system. It looks like it was pretty good, but you can't tell from the videos whether the star system is actually complete and functioning or not. My thing would be we get Squadron 42 in 2027, early 2027, mid 2027, possibly get the new star citizen or star citizen, the star citizen, the, the next um, star system in 2027 20 late 2027 that would be kind of my expectations for it timeline wise now guys i could be completely wrong i hope i'm going to be completely wrong i hope we get all this stuff in 2025 2026 and as early as we can possibly get it i cannot wait to get my hands on squadron 42 right i got squadron 42 playing in the background it looks amazing um it is my type of game i love doing a cinematic like you're watching a movie and then playing a piece of that movie and then going back to a cinematic and watching it and then, you know, jumping jumping back into the, the movie and watching it and kind of playing that cinematic universe. I think it's fantastic. It's fun. It gets you involved. And like they said, there's like, you know, 40, 30 to 40 hours of gameplay. That's a lot of gameplay and a lot of movie time watching it, right? And we know Chris likes his movies as well. I, I'm excited about it. I'm definitely excited about Squadron 42. It's it's gonna be absolutely fantastic, but that's kind of where I think in-game going. Um, when it comes to like the space stations and stuff, again, I think that's way. I think that's not a 1.0 release. I think that's stuff that's gonna come like way after even 1.0. I hope it's included in 1.0 as as in-game, but I could see that being something they add after 1.0 is released. They start adding that type of in-game stuff. First, they just want to get like the you know the first five star systems out, get everybody playing, get the storylines going, and then start adding all that in-game stuff in after 1.0 releases. So, when is that in-game stuff going to come out? I think that's probably even further down the line than 1.0 is. I mean that that's that's big time stuff we're talking. So to kind of end this video, I just want to say that you know I think I think we're in a good spot. I think you know if they can get some stability. Release some really cool capital ships. There, a ton of us are waiting for capital ships. Now, I'm not something I'm going to purchase, but I can't wait to help crew one of these, right? Um, whether it's with my own uh, people or a different orgs or just different communities, you know, having these big ships in game and playable, 
I think that's going to extend so much life into Star Citizen. Um, I hope they're great. I hope they're playable. I hope they're, I hope they're usable, right? Because right now it just seems like you can have a squad of two or three fighters and they just wipe the floor with capital ships. It's, like, it's kind of like the capital ships just can't defend themselves. Now, I don't know a whole lot about the details of flight and master modes and stuff like that. I know master modes took a beating and is still taking a beating, but I, I don't really know much about it other than you know, watching what other people say about it who fly a lot and do a lot of combat, which I don't really. It's not that I don't want to. Just, you know, I don't have time to. But guys, that is kind of my thoughts. Um, it's brief opinions on it. Again, if you guys want to see like a deep dive into a certain section, I would love to talk about it. But, you know, being that that's not the kind of content I usually have on my channel, I just wanted to throw a, a, this, this brief video out here to start with. But please let me know in the comments if y'all want to see some stuff. Maybe I'll throw a poll up. And uh, you guys let me know if y'all want to see some of that. But I am streaming tomorrow. And I'll prob we'll probably talk about it and stuff in the stream as well. So, yeah, guys. Uh, I really don't have anything else to say on it except for thank you guys for the support. Um, it means a lot. Um, the comments that everybody has and the support that I've gotten has been great on YouTube. I really never imagined it would have come this far. But I'm going to keep after it, keep grinding after it. Love Star Citizen, love the Star Citizen community. I hope the best for it. I hope they pull everything off. I hope Chris reaches all of his dreams because, man, they kind of align with a lot of the stuff that I like. Not everything, but but most. I, I see a great space game here for all of us to play for years and years and years to come. So to leave on a final comment, um, you know, keep your hopes up, but don't go crazy. Um, you know, uh, if you're going to buy into the game, uh buy buy little first um don't get overwhelmed that's the worst way to enjoy this game but as always guys thank you and i will see you on the next video